This is going to be a small lesson on use, um, addressing modes, using the debug to play with things. So remember that you type question mark to get the list of commands. And I'm going to be using the register command to display the contents of registers, and the dump command to display the contents of memory, and enter to fill the contents of memory. And finally, we use the assemble command to enter instructions into memory. So if I type registers, our registers are currently equal to this. And right this stage, IP is equal to 100. That's where I'm going to insert some code. So I'm going to go assemble code segment 100. And I'm going to put in a series of instructions that we are going to execute. Okay move bx comma 200. The 200 there is immediate addressing mode. Now move bx square bracket 200. Okay, that is direct addressing mode. Now I'm going to do move bx comma ax and that is register to register mode. Finally I'm going to go doing move bx Oops, square bracket AX. Okay. So, in review, remember that this is the destination. Uh, um, th yeah, this is the source from which we're going to put into the destination. Okay. So, if I'm now going to execute these one by one, I want you to guess what's going to happen after it. So, in this one, we're going to move the immediate value into BX. So, we should see BX equal to 200 easy. Trace and we see that bx is indeed equal to 200. Notice that our IP is now equal to 103 because we've executed the first instruction, the first instruction being at address 100, the second instruction being at address 103. Okay. So now if I execute t again we are going to execute the second instruction. This is now going to move the contents of address 200 into BX. To, f to make a guess about what's going to happen here, we need to look at the contents of address 200. And it's important that we use the, it's going to access the data segment in this case. Whenever we use square brackets, by default it's the data. So let's dump DS colon, whoops, 200. So the contents of 200 is 73. Notice that BX is a word register, so it's going to actually take a word at address 200. So it's going to take these two bytes at 200 and 201. So let's execute this instruction. Do you have in your mind what it's going to be? Are you going to be correct? So execute, and we see that BX is equal to 0873. Remember, little Indian. Okay, so we take the most significant at th from the higher address and the least significant from the lower. Okay, so now our next instruction that we're going to do is just address to address. Now, why I'm doing this, these first two, if the, just look at it, it's 200, then square bracket 200. In the next two, I've got BX, square bracket BX. So we're going to do these two in a pair now. Now BX is now the destination, so we're going to take the contents of AX and put it into BX. So we're going to take the contents of AX and put it into BX. So let's go in here. And should we make AX something interesting? So AX, we're going to go and we'll make it, um, let's make it equal to AABB. Okay, something distinctive. So now our registers are A, A, B, B. When I execute the instruction, it's, it's executed the instruction of moving AX into BX. So the, now we see that AX and BX have the same contents. Okay, it's been duplicated. Our next instruction to be ac accessed is going to be move AX into the square square bracket of BX. This is indirect register mode. So AABB, the contents of AX, AABB is going to be put into 
the address contained in BX. So the address contained in BX is AABB. So we can put that in there and um, so to see that this works we have to actually dump the contents of the, the location given by BX. So we're going to go dump ds colon aabb oh and we see that it's equal to zero 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 so if we execute this instruction okay and we see no change in ax or bx bx doesn't change bx contains the address what we want to see is we want to see this space change okay so let's see if it's changed display ds colon aabb and indeed it's been changed and of course little indian means that the aa goes at bc where the bb goes at address bb okay now the neat thing about that is okay so the instruction we our next instruction is 10b if i go register register IP and I set my IP back to 109 and I display my registers you'll see that I've made it go back to the instruction that we've just executed okay so this is the neat thing about debuggers is that you can re-execute code you can play with things okay so what I want to show you here is that we're going to take the same value of AX, so the contents being AABB, and we're going to stick it into the address pointed to BX. But this time, I'm going to change BX. So I'm put in some other number. I'm going to put in 200. Now, just let's just display the registers again. Sorry. Which refresh IPs pointing to this instruction that we've already executed and remember that it caused AABB to be put up way up at this address executing the same instruction now with a different value in the register will make it go to a different address okay it's register indirect so when I execute T you're going to see that um, where we want to look at is we want to look at the contents of ds colon 200 and we should see ds colon 200 and what do we see? We see AABB, the same value. Okay, so the same instruction, we executed it twice once with the value of BX equal to AABB and once with the value equal to 200. The same instruction ends up altering different memory locations. That's the beauty of register indirect mode. Okay, thank you. And we'll quit.